Gianforte grabbed him by the neck, both hands, um, slid him to the side, body slammed him, and then got on top of him and started punching and then um, yelling at him. But Gianforte's campaign blamed Jacobs and then tried to smear him. Quote, it's unfortunate that this aggressive behavior from a liberal journalist created this scene at our campaign volunteer barbecue. Gianforte has since been charged with misdemeanor assault, but folks, as bad as that incident was last night, it arguably got worse today. Some House Republicans seem to almost defend what he did. We didn't have a course on body slamming when I, I went to school. I missed that course. I, I'm sorry I missed it. It's ironic that uh, this uh, focus is on this one event when Occupy Wall Street were, you know, attacking civilians. The left has precipitated this tense, confrontational um, approach throughout the country in recent months. And then there's Republican Congressman Glenn Grothman, who said, I think he'd be very welcome here. Seems like a good guy. We need somebody who's going to drain the swamp. And if you're draining the swamp, you're on our team. And then there's Congressman Mark Sanford, who, strangely enough, seemed to channel what I was thinking on this. Quote, people feel like if the president of the United States can say anything to anybody at any time, then I guess I can too. And that is a very, very dangerous phenomenon. I think it's more general than it is specific to the press. But the press is one of the boogeymen out there. There's a reason the Founding Fathers put the First Amendment as the first one we all need to think about. You caught a break here at the end. Um, a candidate gets exposed. It's a character test. He gets exposed in the last minute. But the question is whether the Democrats were there in time to take advantage. I know it's late here, but you look at the spending advantage. The Republican Congressional Campaign Committee has outspent the Democrats three to one. The Republican PACs, including one led by Speaker Ryan, has outspent the Democratic PACs in this race 16 to one. Your own organization would not tell us how much money uh, you've spent, but the RNC has spent almost a million dollars. The fact of the matter is, why didn't you guys take this race seriously earlier? You didn't. No, you have lately, but you, the, mon no. the, 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 the money, you didn't put your money where your mouth is. Well, uh, Chuck, uh, you've run campaigns, so you understand in the world of Post Citizens United, we're never going to match the uh, Republicans dollar for dollar. It is not a shock that a Democrat is competitive. I was shocked, frankly, Mr. Chairman, and this is more maybe a question mm -hmm. directed to the DCCC. I was shocked at the lack of interest in the National Party in trying to engage in this race sooner. Well, I, I actually have great respect for Ben Ray Luhan, uh, who, who has done a great job at the DCCC. You know, it was Josh Barrow wrote an interesting piece today in Business Insider where he essentially threw all of the sort of the way the name calling goes on the right. Um, I think we have the quote we can pull, put up here. I hope we have the element in here. Uh, a minute. Republicans are a party that now celebrates the bully who steals lunch money because, hey, at least he's not the nerd who gets his lunch money stolen. A party that celebrates not just cruelty, but juvenile cruelty. There's been sort of a juvenile nature to, I w by people that I used to consider adults in the room. Chuck, we're in a system today, and it's such a divided country where bad behavior gets rewarded. That's the reality. You get up and yell, you lie in the State of the Union, you'll, you, you raise a million dollars online the next week. Uh, that's the society we live in today. You know it's going to get copycatted. It is being copycatted. You look at the 2010 Tea Party, Democrats are, are copying that, that, using that same uh, uh, attitude now going in the town meetings and everything else. We call it the Herbal Tea Party right. uh, on, on the left. They, they went to school on what the Republicans did, and each side, it tends to get exaggerated each cycle, no matter which party's in trouble.